actually took a game in winners finals or, or winners semis, <laughs> uh, and you know he could do it again. He looked really strong. Yeah. He had a clear game plan. So uh, we'll just see what Gatsu's got. I like how Gatsu landed a stomp before the ghost screen was gone. That's you love to see that. <laughs> oh, okay, that actually is low enough. I think that was a ceiling tech. Yeah. And ceiling techs just like suck in melee for some reason. Mm -hmm. Like they just program them to just have infinite legs. <laughs> yeah, if Curve had gotten the wall, the, the sidewall tech on the, yeah. the side of the ledge, then he would have been in a perfectly fine spot and might have even had a chance for a reversal. But since yeah. it was the ceiling, he's just dead. <laughs> yep, yep. Ooh, Ooh okay. one for the down smash, but insane smash DI in at the last second. Okay, and this is actually something we talked about in that winner semi set, where Curve was still looking for the nares and, and playing sort of against an aerial falcon. And we asked for him to go for more of the, the shine, wave shine gameplay uh, because Gatsu plays so grounded. And we saw it there, uh, Curve seeming to be ready with the, the adjustments here in this grand final set. Ooh, good recovery mix up. He tried to kind of be tricky with it, but Gatsu is super ready for it. Find the back air on the up B angle. And Gatsu finds himself with the lead. Nair's the wrong way. When this time the trade might cost him his life. Oh, the back reverse hit. <laughs> Reverse hit on the backside of the hitbox, I think is what happened there. Mm -hmm. And Curve's so ready to respond when that did get a, a, a little awkward. Gatsu went for yeah. the instant double jump, and Curve just gets the full hop bear immediately. So good stuff to him to close it out. But now he's caught in a tech chase. He's barely yep. able to tech in place around the knee. And now <laughs> and he's it, got the edge guard. Yeah. Almost rewarded with an entire stock there. Still going here. Goes from like, oh, he's Omega dead. He's getting tech chase to wake up shine. Here's 120%. Insane. <laughs> wow. And a really clean shine back here to close out that stock. That was a super awkward one because he actually hit the like very bottom of the shine and had to like move up a little bit with his back air, which is usually not what you see out of Fox. So good stuff to Curve to close it out. But Gatsu comes back, uses invincibility to bring it back to one stock. Yep. Curve uses his invincibility to rack up a quick 40. Um, Gatsu almost overextends there and puts himself off stage, but he's able to keep playing the game for a little bit here and see if Curve can capitalize on this lead he has. Nice percent lead. His aerials are super unlocked. Oh, he goes for the dash attack. Uh, when you talk about unlocked options, dash attack is definitely a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, Gatsu was able to shield it, but he ends up getting put off stage, and then the edge guard is super clean from Curve to close out game one. Curve looking really strong there. Wow. Yeah, instantly putting himself on the board game one this time, uh, not having to go through a painful four stock <laughs> before <laughs> taking his win this time around. Very mm -hmm. nice stuff to him for dialing in. And uh, yeah, sometimes you kind of ride the momentum from your loser's run, right? He just had a game five set. He's hot right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny. We, we've talked in the past about how Gatsu feels a little bit um, like immune to momentum. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes when your opponent comes in super hot and is playing super clean, uh, even if you're not feeling the momentum <laughs> so much, your opponent can sort of take advantage of their good momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I wouldn't be surprised to see Gatsu just keep coming back, right? Like he's just... <laughs> Because he is kind of like, I, I don't think he's going to tilt or anything, right? Off no, this. So no. there's, yeah, totally possible. He just comes back here and he's like, back to, to, to being the robot that he is. But Curve saying, nope, still got some momentum juice left in the tank. <laughs> oh, and look at this combo. It's looking super clean. He uses the laser to get the turnaround for the back air, but can't find the closeout with the back air. And Gatsu's going to find the reverse knee to close out the first stock. Pretty clean. Three stocks apiece. Small lead here for uh, Curve. Yeah, finding the tech chase there. It's once again, Gatsu, one of the masters of mixing up between reaction tech chasing and read-based tech chasing. Uh, he has talked about before how he that is something he intentionally and consciously does. He will react to kind of manipulate you to tech in a certain pattern. And once you start doing more tech in place, because that one's harder to react to, then he starts throwing in the stomps. So, kind of cool little mix up. Oh, he just finds a raw knee from spawn. Are you kidding me? It just kills. All right, we're back in there. Tie game. <laughs> that is a tilter for curve. Absolutely. Um, let's see if he can recover from that. But no, he's already got it in grab. Oh, no! <laughs> in a bad spot. Okay, he makes it back just barely. Oh, and he picks up this big combo. Gets the CC on the getup attack, too. Yeah, just oh, like that, that up the, till just barely. They're just tied again. Like, they're both, like, get these big explosive openings, and somehow it's just even. Not only stocks, but literally in percent now. And just like that, Gatsu finds another big opening. Stomp! And he's just ready to tech chase it all the way to a kill. What an unconventional follow-up there. <laughs> All right, looking good here for Gatsu, but Curve still has a little bit of an answer back. He gets the up tilt on the no tech. That's really clean by Curve. And now he's got an edge guard situation. Gatsu goes deep so far that he's oh. just in the center stage. Oh, I think he accidentally landed on the side platform that he wanted to like Tomahawk wave shine him or something, but. Perfect short in there to avoid Gatsu covering the ledge. 
Oh, Curve tries to aerial back in, but Gatsu gives him a little bit of space and oh! reclaims advantage. Gets the spot dodge shine, wave dash, up smash. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's so close here. 50%. Curve's got to avoid the invincibility. Well done and by him does. to do so. Yep. The Nair is strong enough to knock down at this percent. The raw up smash doesn't get whiff punished. And the raw knee. Why whiff punish things when you can just find raw knees in neutral? You know, it's just... It's a better position to be neutral than with your opponent in lag, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Gatsu threw out like three or four knees in a row there, just saying, yeah. I'm going to hit you and kill you right here, right now. Bring it back to 1-1. One, one. Very clean <laughs> by him. Uh, in the winter set, Curve went uh, straight to FD and looked really strong on that stage, so I'd mm -hmm. imagine that's where we'll go back again here, um, but we'll have to see uh, how he wants to play. Yeah, I, I love watching, like, spammable kill moves at the end there. <laughs> like, the just the four knees in place. I always joke about uh, Jab being a frame two spammable kill moves at super hyper sense and stuff. And Gatsu mm -hmm. finds his, like, frame, you know, like 15 spammable kill move, whatever <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, at, like, 40%, by the way. Yeah, yeah, 40%. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Curve uh, putting together some really great ground-based combos Ooh. here. But uh, Gatsu showing his prowess with defense. Uh, he gets SDI out of the shine combo, the wave shine combo, and then uh, finds his way back on what could have been a really nasty edge guard. Oh man, I was just about to compliment Curve's corner pressure for being so disciplined and so tight. And Gatsu just finds the one little opening and takes everything out of it, just finds him all the way back to the kill. Curve come back and answers right back though, because these guys are not allowed to develop a lead bigger than 10% on each other. <laughs> yeah, and both players are being so clever about how they use invincibility. Here, Gatsu comes down, or after Curve actually kills off of his invincibility, Gatsu comes down and gets a, a grab that can open up into a nice tech chase. Curve got out and was able to play around it, but uh, still, that invincibility seems to be a big part of the matchup right now. Mm -hmm. Finding more off these grabs. Up throw Nair is one of those where, like, in other matchups, like in Spacey's, it's like the lazy option. You're supposed to just keep chain grabbing. But against Falcon, you just, it's almost a guaranteed tech chase. Like, you just get to pick it right back up after the Nair. Oh, but it's not quite guaranteed. And Gatsu says this is what a guaranteed combo looks like. Finding it into the stomp knee offstage. Brutal. And once Curve, again, once again, no leads allowed. Yeah, the invincibility usage by Curve looking really strong this game. Gatsu doing it right back to him. He gets the grab into the knee. Follows oh. through. Oh, the soft knee means Curve gets a chance at life, but he's in a bad spot. Yep. And Gatsu's adding these little waveland backs as part of his like short hop pressure now. We saw him throw out like the four knees in a row at the end of the last game, but he's <laughs> doing so many mix ups off his short hops right in front of your face. It's terrifying. <laughs> like, yeah, and it, it feels like that's one place where you can go at him, right? Because he is mm -hmm. doing the like empty waveland some of the time. Yeah. And then if you get a little antsy and go in, that's the time he catches you with the knee. Yeah. So it's really tricky. Curve really needs something big here. He is way down on percent. Oh, he's not able to find Ooh. anything. And then the trade takes his stock. Can he do the invincibility thing again? No, not this time. Not oh, the quite. stomp! Oh, 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 it's Curve. It's like, if Gatsu can keep finding these haymakers at just, like, random times in neutral, it's like, it's only a matter of time before he finds one when he already has a stock lead and then runs away with it, right? But Curve is going to say, I can do the same thing right here. Boom. Only took 38% for that stomp. Not too bad. Back in there. Last stock situation. All right. Curve able to make it around the invincibility this time without taking too much. Oh, he goes for the running shine, oh. and Gatsu just stomps right over it. Gets the oh great tech chase, but Curve finds his way out anyway. Curve with the, the patented. Oh, the knee! The random knee! Is that it? Can Gatsu the reverse? just close it out? Oh, he doesn't get the hard knee! Oh my god, he almost didn't make it back with that yeah. air dodge. But he did. And uh, just like that, Gatsu's up on to tournament point, right? He's up 2-1 now. He won a, a game on Curve's counter pick, so Curve's going to have counter pick disadvantage here. He gets one more attempt on his counter pick before Gatsu gets his, so... See if he can bring it to the uh, final point here and get his bracket reset. Oh, look at that <laughs> tech chase. He wave dashes back to get it. That's yeah. even tighter. And I, 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 think I it don't had think he reacted. Yeah, yeah I it think had to be a read, right? He's always faking it, dude. He's like, hey, hey, I'm reacting. Just kidding. <laughs> I was reading the whole time. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my God. And look at him go here. He gets the jab reset. Curve finds his way out and gets the shine. Now he gets a big combo. Oh, but the grab doesn't connect. Oh. He must have been like 1% too low. Oh, Curve going for these up tilts, and he does find one. Up tilts is one of the biggest combo starters you can get in this matchup. Finding the wave shine. Oh. oh, Curve recognizes he's in a really bad spot, so he has to air dodge. But Gatsu's oh just going to pick it right God. off that. And yeah, he goes for the Raptor boost, gets the yeah. knee off of it. Four stocks to two all of a sudden. Raptor pog. All right, Curve answer back. Again, the invincibility, he's finding grab after grab after grab. But he's already a stock down this time, so he can't keep yeah. it even the way he has in previous games. 
Yeah, it kind of feels like Gatsu came into this game kind of smelling blood, and he just went right at him right at, like right off the bat, getting himself this big lead. It kind of feels like Curve like realized like and has kind of made some adjustments. But man, melee comes at you fast, right? Like you're like, all right, I'm ready to adapt. Wait, I'm already down a full stop. Wait, it's last stock situation already. Wait, the tournament's over, right? Like a best of three, a best of five, even can feel so fast. Yeah, a great drill there by uh, Curve to like keep the pressure on. But man, Gatsu's just so far ahead now, and he's gonna find another Raptor Boost knee. He hasn't used this knee, this move. Like, I know. The entire two sets, and all it's of a so sudden sick. he gets two stocks in a row off of it. Like I feel what? like he's, I feel like it's long term multi-game mm -hmm. conditioning you know because it, it does feel like he's like pushed you down into a few tech options and now he's coming three out of four you know <laughs> and it feels brutal like he's gotten it every time that he's raptor boost and that's a kill so all right curve was able to get around the suicide attempt from gatsu so he's got another lease on life but oh raw knees <laughs> that knee catching a spot dodge from yeah curve, so... 